just happened. Well, go ahead, man. I think we're live, buddy. Hi, everyone. I I'm Sean. This is my partner, my dad, Mark. What's your work company? I'm Sean with the Sox. Right? And what's our mission? Our mission is spreading happiness. Spreading happiness, right? We try doing that, don't we? Yes. Right? Uh, normally, what we do on this show is we tell a lot of jokes, right? We share a lot of happiness. But today, today's kind of a different day. And um, I think we're going to share uh, some of our thoughts and feelings about what, what's going on. Um, you know, we had uh, the death of George Floyd, uh, which was very public. Um, now it's, it's been declared a murder. Um, on a video for everyone to see. And then we've had a reaction which is understandable about people, uh, some people being outraged and others um, <clears throat> wanting to stand up for what they believe. Yes. And, um, and I think we have to react and, and respond to that and, and, and learn from it. Um, and John's crazy socks, part of uh, our spreading happiness um, is our commitment to show what people with different abilities can do, right? Right. We stand up for people with different abilities and we advocate for them, right? We've been to Washington. We did. We've spoken at the United Nations. And, and why? I mean, why do we do that? Well, obviously, we have a personal connection. John, you with Down syndrome, right? I do. But also, it's because we understand that people with different abilities are often the, among the weakest or the most vulnerable in a society. And whether or not it's intentional or unintentional, oftentimes people with different abilities are marginalized and their lives are diminished. And that's an injustice. And we work and everything we do to change that and overcome that. Um, well, we have to admit that racial injustice persists. People have worked hard and there's been some progress and yet it still persists. And African Americans remain vulnerable in our society. Right. More have died you know, at a much higher rate during COVID-19. Um, if you look at interactions with police, um, an African American is three times as likely to die at the hands of the police than a white citizen. Um, unemployment rate is higher. The arrest records are higher. And it's not because there's anything wrong with innately wrong. It's it's a function of our society, and that's not to deny individual responsibility. And as long as one person in our society suffers from an injustice, we're all vulnerable. If there's Martin Luther King said, if there's injustice anywhere, then there's injustice everywhere. And so justice is at the heart of, of our mission. Um, and that requires us to, to pay attention. And it requires us both to be responsible and to be held accountable. Um, I know I personally take inspiration from a woman named Rosa Parks. And, and she really has been an inspiration for much of what we've done in, John, in John's Crazy Songs. And I know we've spoken before about her, but let me tell you the story about Rosa Parks. Um, in 1955, in Montgomery, Alabama, at a time when uh, African Americans were told you sit in the back of the bus, and you drink from that water fountain, not over there, and they were denied jobs and access to, to basic human rights. One day she decided that she had enough. She was tired at the end of a work day and they told her, you have to move. She said, no, 
I've had enough. I am taking my stand here. She was arrested for that. But that sparked the Montgomery Boys bus boycott, which was a major milestone in the civil rights movement. And what was wonderful about Rosa Parks, she wasn't famous, she wasn't powerful. She was an ordinary citizen who said, enough, and I'm going to take a stand. And you know what she did? Yeah. She changed the world. And that's a lot of what we're about, right? Right. You said you can go and do something like sew socks. Yes. That you could have your own business. I did. Right? That you could stand up and make a difference. That's pretty good, pal. Right. right? And uh, I wanna I wanna take the uh, the um 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 a moment. Okay. Uh, uh for the the uh for the uh, uh, rights. Right. Yes. Um um I will stand up. I wanna take up a silent well, we are, and that's what we're talking about, is standing up for the rights of others. And, and so I, I connect this, right? Um, standing up for the rights of people with different abilities, taking the inspiration from Rosa Parks, and that's what we try to do, to show what each of us has the power to do, to show the possibilities, right? Right. And so we have to look at ourselves, we have to look to see what can we do to stand up to end the racial injustice that persists? We have to look to see what we have to understand and learn. Right. To see what changes we have to make in our business and in our lives. Right? Right. We have to look, and we have, and we will continue to look at our recruitment and hiring to ensure that we hire a diverse workforce. It's what we do, right? We say focus on what people can do, not what they can do. Focus on the possibilities. We have to look at how we treat our colleagues, our neighbors, our friends. And, um, um, I, I point out yeah. Um, I, I want you guys listening to a song um, from Queen, Queen Latifah. Um, just listen, uh, just listen, read the, read the lyrics very carefully. Uh, Queen Latifah story, a, a, a hard song to sing. In Hairspray? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because that song, um, uh, this is very important because the, some people like uh, like black and white people. Right. That I I I'm being serious because um, that song I know I know are uh, you been right. because it's very important to race. Right. Well, we have to try to understand each other's point of view, right? Yeah. That's the act of imagination to get out of our own point of view and see the world from someone else's point of view. And uh, James Baldwin said, you know, if there's no white person that's looking out saying, oh, if I was born black, I'd be better off in this world. And, uh, and as soon as you can admit that, then we know we have a problem. So we have to do things with our lives. Why? Make sure we're doing the right thing in our business. And we have to stand up in public. We went to a, a rally yesterday, right? Yeah, we did. We have to stand up and, and, and call out injustice when we see it. It's terrible that it's taken such an outcry to get the action that's now being taken in Minnesota where George Floyd died. We have to use our vote to vote for candidates who will promote racial justice um, and we have to stand up against those who would um, promote violence and hatred and when there's something outrageous like the murder of a man in front of 
We have millions. We have to stand up and say, enough. It's unacceptable. We do that for people with different abilities, right? Well, we have to stand up for anyone who's suffering in our society, who's being they're not just disadvantaged, but having their lives reduced. We're accountable. We are. We can do things, all right. So, uh, you know, that's uh, we're not going to tell a lot of jokes tonight. No, no I'm not. Um, but it's uh, you know, there's a saying that. In a family, the family is only as happy as the saddest child. Well, think about that in our society. We're only as strong, we're only as well off as our weakest members. And yes, we focus on people with different abilities, but that applies whenever there is injustice because of race or creed or age or gender of sexual preference. Which is two guys selling socks, right? Right. What can we do? Well, we've learned from Miss Parks. We could change the world. And we have to stand up for that here. Um, we appreciate, you know, that people are checking in on this. You know, we have, uh, we built our business on love, right? And we've got to bring more of that out into the world. I know. Um, so, uh, we thank folks for your support. Thank you so much. Right? We got a lot of things that uh, we're going to do in our business to try to take on, but uh, all of us are... We have both authority and responsibility. We have the authority in our lives and the possibilities of what we can do. And therefore, we're responsible to exercise that. You know, you weren't with us, but I remember back in 2001, yeah. I took your brothers to the Civil Rights Museum in Memphis, um, at the spot where Dr. King was assassinated. And they had a mock-up of the bus that Rosa Parks sat in. And I made sure your brothers sat in that seat so they would understand. They would understand what was possible. They would understand the obligation we have. They would understand our responsibility, our responsibility to stand up when we see injustice and our responsibility to take I have to. It's time. I love you, Dad. I love you, buddy. All right, well, folks, you guys, you guys have a good night. Thank uh, you so much. I appreciate it. We want to try to make this world a better place. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Dad. Want to say good night, John? Good night. Good night, folks. Bye.